Hi everyone, Tony here. Hope you're all well. I'm very well. I've just got back from a walk in the park with the dogs. Gorgeous weather here today and I hope it's just as fine wherever you are. You'll have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat today. <coughs> so I'll try not to cough and splutter my way through the video. But thank you for joining me for day three of my uh, free life balance mini course. So yesterday we looked at your career, so that's your employment and your educational aspirations, and you identified the um, areas that need attention. Today we're going to look at the money and financial area of your life. Now it's one of those areas that for a lot of people can cause horrendous stress and problems, especially if things are a bit out of kilter. So if you do struggle with your finances and if you are stressed over money, then this exercise can really help. There is an exercise sheet to follow along with and complete. <coughs> Sorry. So to get your copy, type the word, words financial freedom in the comments below and I will send it to you via messenger. Um, I do understand that talking about money can be very sensitive to some people. So if you prefer, you can request a copy of the exercise sheet by sending me a message directly and I will send your sheet via messenger. So we'll be looking at a new area um, of life every day of this week. So far, we've looked at res uh, relationships and career and throughout the rest of the week, we'll be looking at physical health, mental health and spirituality your responsibilities and giving back to society. So let's get started on today's topic. It's a big one, money and finances, but I'm gonna have a drink first. Okay, so let's get these questions done. Now I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and you'll answer on a scale of one to three, just like yesterday and the day before. So one equals no, two equals could be better, and three equals yes. So for example, if I was to ask you, is your relationship with money a healthy and positive one? And it is, you would answer three for yes. So that's one for no, two for could be better, three for yes. <clears throat> so here's the questions. Question one, do you have an exact understanding of the amount of money in your bank account or bank accounts? So that's, do you have an exact understanding of the amount of money in your bank account or bank accounts? Question two, are you content with your current financial effectiveness? So that would be no, could be better, yes. Question three, are you financially capable to meet your wants and your needs? Now that's quite a big question, I'll repeat that one. Are you financially capable to meet your wants and your financial needs? Question four, is your relationship with money positive and healthy? So could be better, uh, no, could be better, yes. Question five, are you comfortable taking new risks to generate more income? That's another big question. Are you comfortable taking new risks to generate more income. Question six, are you satisfied with how generous you are? So no, could be better, yes. And question seven, do you feel fulfilled by your charitable contributions? So are you fulfilled with your charitable contributions? Now, based on how you answered those seven questions, what issues and areas come to mind? You'll find on the exercise sheet there is a space for you to uh, type in or write in your answers. But it's worth just going back over those questions and breaking them down because there's some important questions there. So we'll go back to question three. Are you financially capable to meet your wants and your needs? So what that's asking you is every month, do you have enough money to cover your financial needs? So that's your essentials. That's things like your mortgage, um, your rent, your savings, your bills, uh, your rentals. But And after you've paid all of that, do you then have enough money to cover what you want to do every month or what you want to buy every month or if you want to treat someone or treat yourself? So every month, do you have enough money to cover your essentials and your wants? And if you don't, ask yourself, why not? Why are you settling for less? 
Question five is another important one. Um, and that's, are you comfortable taking new risks to generate more income? Now, many of us are still tied into this really old fashioned way of thinking that we earn money by working full time. And some of you are working full time and part time just to make ends meet. Now, when I took the massive risk, and it was a massive risk, of giving up my own full-time career of working for someone else to set up my own business, it was the best thing professionally I've ever done. It was scary, but everything worked out the way that I wanted it to work out. And th there is a process um, involved in that, and maybe, maybe we'll talk about that in a future video, but at the moment, having my own business I feel like I'm creating my own money and that is such that gives such a sense of freedom it's unbelievable but it's believable because I'm living it and you can too it's also important to look at additional income streams so gone are the days when we had to rely on just the one source of income so think about how to turn your passions into additional income now there's a whole new world of money out there and it, all it takes is just changing your perception slightly about money. So instead of viewing money as something that you need to earn, look at money as a form of energy. So look at money as a form of energy and think about creative ways that you can tap into this source of new energy. Now that's what these exercises are designed to do. They're designed to help you become more self-aware and to really reflect and uh, break down the questions and face the issues that you're currently dealing with. So to get hold of today's exercise sheet, type financial freedom in the comments below and I will send it to you via messenger or if you prefer, send me a direct message and I'll message you the exercise sheet. And if you'd like to have a look at the relationship and career areas of your life, then you'll find those videos before this one. Now, it is worth remembering that no one's life is perfect, but we can make our lives easier by reflecting on those issues and problems that cause us stress and imbalance. And once we've identified those problems, we can then to put together the right course of action and get our lives back on track. So join me for the rest of the week in unraveling those issues that are negatively, negatively impacting your life. I hope that you have found today's exercise valuable. And if there's anything that you'd like to discuss with me about money, about additional income streams, and about this idea of money as energy, then please send me a message. I'm more than happy to discuss anything with you. Tomorrow, we're going to look at the different aspects of your physical health and your leisure time. Now I'm going to use some of my own leisure time now by uh, getting creative in the kitchen and cooking up a chilli. So whatever it is you're going to do for the rest of the day, have a great day. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.